Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today I am going to be talking about uh, porting and a few different things that are pros and about the basically porting your mod and stuff like that. So I'm looking right now on CurseForge for CCTV Craft and it actually has a lot of um, unique information that you can find out about your mod and this is one of the mods that I have published across at least several different uh, versions, three for sure, uh, 1.16, 1.17, and 1.18, and soon to be 1.19. So uh, there is quite a bit of different versions that I've gone and developed on, and even though that it's in beta, uh, there is still quite a few downloads for it. Uh, there is 5,436 at the time of the recording of this video, so there's a, quite a few downloads. It's probably my largest mod that has gotten downloads that is from M Creator. and if we go to the files we can actually see where these uh, downloads are coming from so you can see that um, a lot of these versions uh, as you can see here are basically um, getting generated over time due to the uh, I would say the popularity of the version, I wouldn't really know where to kind of start. There's going to be people that want uh, one, it, want your mod for 1.17, 1.18, uh, 1 1.16, 1.15, and whatever other version Minecraft comes out with. And one of the key features of M Creator is you can port to a newer version each time uh, a newer version of the application comes out. So uh, basically when I started, uh, I started on 1.14 and I've been porting since then. So as you can kind of see, uh, CurseForge only puts out the recent files, but uh, a lot of these other downloads will be coming from these other versions here. And a lot of the time when you push out another update, a lot of the people uh, from that same version that you're po posting it for as you can see with the 1.16 have also downloaded the the patch so basically anything that comes out with that same version might also get a little bit more downloads now as time progresses uh, these numbers will increase quite a bit and because 1.8 was just recently released for CCTV craft there's probably not going to be that many downloads but we're already at 306 so that's it, it's climbing quite fast um, outside of that uh, another pro of having it across the uh, a few different versions is you don't actually need to continue developing them uh, actually it's probably recommended that you don't because um, it just it would be harder to port backwards than it would be to port forwards so with amp crater how the things work with porting is if you continue to keep up to date with your latest version and that's why one of the reasons why i always work on the the latest build is one it's for sure stable and not i'm not talking snapshots i'm talking about the actual releases and uh, it's stable you get at least two versions that you can port to if you're working on like say 1.18 then when 1.19 comes out we'll have support for 1.18 plus 1.19 so you'll have flexibility on what version that you can develop for i usually go for the newest version uh for the thing when a release is coming out so I try to keep my mods up to date with a very top release so it stays within that kind of boundaries between the two mods or Minecraft versions. So basically CCTV craft is already updated to 1.18. So if 1.19 comes out, I'll be already in that kind of area for uh, 1.19 to basically port to. And I'm already working on an update for drones and stuff for that particular mod. So there, that will probably increase the downloads as well. Uh, this was the 1.18 patch was just a port from the 1.17. And I think 1.17 might have been a port from the 1.16. There might have been a few changes in that particular version to make things a little bit more stable. But other than that um it's you can kind of see where the downloads are distributed now this will be varied depending on what your mods for and when you start 
developing your mod. Um, I'm going to have a whole completely different video on uh, basically what versions you should start developing. Generally, you want to start developing on the latest build that is stable for the, like the recommended, the newest release. Uh, reason being is a lot of stuff can go wrong. I will put a card in the top of the video here so you can kind of go back and watch the video when I release that particular video. I'm still getting a little bit of information from the developers to go know a little bit more about how all those things uh, play into effect. But um, uh, again, the card will be just above. But uh, yeah, outside of that, um, let's take a look at what I do for CCTVCraft on mcreator.net. So we'll go to mcreator.net. And then we'll just kind of see what uh, we do for the different versions there. So if we go to CCTV Craft, and then we scroll down, we have pretty much all the same information. And as you can see, what I've done here is I basically have just the last three versions of the modification. So basically, I only post the newest... Um, I guess the newest releases for those versions, so 1.16. When 1.19 comes out, I'll knock off 1.16, and it'll be 1.17, and 1.18, and then 1.19. So that's basically the process that I'm working on uh, for basically the releases and stuff like that. And obviously your mod pages and stuff will have a huge uh, pro for what year how much downloads you get. If it's just a short description of what your your mod is, people are probably not going to be downloading it. If you give more information and screenshots and stuff like that on your mod page, most likely people will end up downloading it. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of added a um, few different um, kind of screenshots of what's in the mod, how the mod works and stuff like that. You can kind of see the different fences, the monitors, the different cameras and jammers, all the different parts in the mod itself. And then down below, I use some space below to kind of showcase some of the other screenshots that I had taken. So you can kind of see how the a good representation of a mod page would be supported. You want to use titles and different headers and stuff like that. Maybe point form for what you have planned. Things like that. And that will really help with your downloads as well. As you can see on Amcreator alone, I have 200 or 2,504 at the recording of this video. So, um, and 59 upvotes. So it's, it's a good method to continue working on the newest versions and stuff like that. So you can come out with more versions and even though that you're not developing for that same version, um, it will move forward and people will download it for that particular version that you support it for. Uh, now to actually port your mod, I should probably cover that quickly. But you can port upwards and you can port downwards depending on how you want to actually do it. Obviously, if you were to port downwards or to other versions, it's going to... Um, potentially have um, issues with not supporting the right procedures and stuff like that. Uh, obviously procedures that are on newer versions might not have been added in older versions. So uh, to do that, to port, all you need to do is go to your, I believe, workspace, workspace settings, and then you would click on this particular button right here where it says, uh, Minecraft version generator and then you would basically select your generator out of the two options. Now there's not generally more than two options per Minecraft release so if you wanted something for uh, something a little bit lower then you would have to go with something lower. 1.16.5 uh, is supported for this version uh, for the current build 2022.2 uh, and 1.18.2. So we have those two versions right now. Um, next update will be 1.18.2 and 1.19.2. So we'll have those two versions. Now when this one actually gets knocked off, 
Uh, you'll still be able to port it when you start up your workspace. It will prompt you what version that you want to port it to, and it'll give you the two options in the installed version that you have. So uh, you will be able to port it from that version, uh, with exception from really old versions of mCreator. You might run into some issues uh, when you get to, um, a, a, I think it's 2021.3 um, is when something changed, but more on that in the video that I mentioned earlier. But outside of that, that's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.